Hello and welcome to my presentation on giving yourself permission to be you. And I'd like to just start by saying a huge thank you to Sue Allsworth for the opportunity to be a part of this summit weekend. And I'm so excited and delighted to be here because the title of the event, Be You, is very much in line with the ethos of my work. So maybe if I just start by introducing myself, my name is Robin and I'm a soul alignment mentor and the founder of Equenergy Wellbeing Naturally. I'm really passionate about supporting people and animals too in reconnecting with who they really are and coming into alignment with that so that they can then experience greater freedom, ease, flow, balance, well-being and joy in their lives. And my work draws so much from the wisdom of nature, looking at how this supports us in learning how to be true to our own inner nature and all that this teaches us. And a very old and dear friend and mentor of mine used to say that an apple tree doesn't say to itself, I must grow apples, I must grow apples, I must grow apples. It knows that it doesn't need to strive and it just trusts its own inner nature to do its thing and so produces these delicious fruit. But at the same time, it doesn't try to be something that it's not. So it doesn't say to itself, I must grow pears, I, I'm going to try to grow pears. It's just happy to rest and, and give itself permission in being itself and being true to its own nature. And if we think then about the sun and the moon, the moon doesn't feel bad that it's not the sun. It doesn't criticize itself for not being bright enough or for just sharing uh, reflected light. And the sun doesn't beat itself up saying, I'm too hot, I'm too fiery, I need to tone down my passion. Each one has its place and its role. The sun obviously gives us light and energy and the moon gives us the tides and helps us to mark the months of the year. The sun can teach us about standing in our own power and not being afraid to shine. And it also helps us to see the importance of that cycle and rhythm of rest and action. The moon gives us a softer light, but it also brings a sense of cleansing and clarity. And it teaches us about cycles as well, as it waxes and wanes and marks the passing of the year. But its teaching is more gentle and inward focused. And now I'd like to lead you in a guided meditation. And so I invite you to take a seat if you aren't already sitting and to just relax. Feel each of your muscles softening and your body sinking into the chair beneath you. Allow the chair to take your full weight feeling its support as you continue to relax deeper and deeper. That's right. Give yourself permission to take this time and space. See it as a gift to yourself, an opportunity to be with you in a gentle, loving and nurturing way and just breathe, taking gentle, deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Now, turn your attention inwards and start to tune in to your inner being, that deep inner wisdom and intuition You become aware of being in a softly lit hallway. Looking along its length, you notice that on the walls there are pictures. 
taking a closer look, you realize that these are images from different stages of your life. And as you begin to walk along this hallway, you realize that it seems to be a timeline of your life. And the images show you at various stages, getting older, learning and growing. At the end of the corridor, you come to a beautiful wooden door carved, covered in ornate carvings. You run your hand over its surface in awe and wonder at the beauty of the designs. Something about them feels familiar. They resonate somehow. They seem to hold such a wealth of history and wisdom. Gradually, you begin to realize that they are a representation of all that you hold within you, like a map or a story of all your experiences and learnings, both those that have been and those that have yet to be. You take hold of the handle and slowly, gently open the door, intrigued to see what lies on the other side. As the view behind the door begins to open up to you, you feel enveloped in a sense of warmth and welcome. A feeling of home and belonging filling the whole of your being. You continue onwards into the space and your eyes eagerly explore everything around you. All of your senses feel so alive, buzzing with life force energy. You reach out to touch some of the wonderful things in this space, enjoying the feel and texture beneath your fingertips. You smell the air and delight in its beautiful fragrance. You sense that here you can do anything you want to do. You can be completely yourself. There are no limitations or restrictions to hold you back. Just infinite possibilities and potential. You somehow know at the deepest core of your being that everything in this space is just waiting for you like an orchestra waiting for its conductor, eagerly ready to follow your direction on what to create, what wonderful music to bring into being, what harmony to share and how to bring light, life, colour and joy to yourself and to those you come into contact with. You feel such a deep sense of peace and balance, while at the same time feeling the most alive that you've ever felt. You start to laugh with the most wonderful sense of joy as you realize that you feel like dancing and singing while also feeling such a profound inner stillness and tranquility. It's amazing to discover that you can hold such a range of feelings and emotions within yourself until, looking within, you see that you are infinite. While having a sense of a body with arms and legs and a particular outline, you are also limitless energy with an endless capacity to feel to experience and to evolve. As you stand in wonder and joy at all of this, you become aware of someone standing a little distance away, gently and lovingly watching you. As your eyes meet theirs, they smile warmly and begin to approach you. 
the closer they get, the more you feel you know them, that you've seen them somewhere before. And then it dawns on you, they are you, your soul self, your infinite self. This is what you felt as soon as you walked through that beautiful carved doorway. You felt that part of you that you can feel within and all around you in this space. Your soul self indicates a couple of seats nearby and invites you to join them there. You sit and instantly feel comfortable and at ease. You feel brimming with questions while also knowing that all the answers are here for you in this space and in this connection. You know that they will come in perfect timing and in precisely the way you need them to, whether in words or pictures, a feeling or a deep inner knowing, or perhaps some wonderful combination of all of these. I'll leave you here for a few minutes to enjoy this connection and to receive whatever messages are here for you at this time. And now you realize that this time here is drawing to a natural close. Your soul self lovingly takes your hand, hands in theirs and tells you how happy they are that you came to spend time with them today. They reassure you that you can return at any time and they will be here to welcome you and to answer any questions that you might bring. They then reach into a pocket and pull out a gift for you. You take it, expressing your deep gratitude and your joy at having connected with them in this magical place. You then place the gift over your heart where it enters your energy to become a part of you forever. Your soul self embraces you and wishes you farewell and you begin to make your way back 
to the beautiful wooden door. Here, you take a moment again to appreciate the intricate carvings before stepping back into the corridor. As you retrace your steps along the hallway, looking again at the images on the walls, you notice that although some of them show times of challenge and hardship, in every single one, there is a light in your eyes and a peaceful expression on your face. You recognize it as the face of your soul self, knowing and trusting that all is well and as it should be, no matter how it might appear on the surface. Looking at the pictures now, you realize that they show a journey, a clear path and process of growth, and that there has been a gentle, loving, guiding hand leading you through all of these different experiences, supporting you, bringing you to opportunities for learning and development, and helping you to hone the skills you've needed and that you'll need in the future. And now, bring your attention back into your body, feeling the seat beneath you, supporting you, and your feet in contact with the floor. Take a couple of deep, gentle breaths and feel your awareness returning fully to your body feeling the sensation of your clothes against your skin and an awareness of the room around you. Gently begin to move your fingers and toes. So slowly stretch your arms and legs and in your own time, open your eyes. And now I'd just like to give you a moment to reflect on what you received from the meditation. So to help you with this, I've got a set of four questions for you to consider. How did it feel to connect with your soul self? What wisdom did they have to share with you? What gift did, you, did they give you? And what does that represent for you? And how might you step into this energy of your soul self more fully? So I'll leave the questions there on the screen and give you a couple of minutes to have a think and to uh, write down some notes.
So now you might be asking, what exactly are the benefits of stepping more fully into my soul self? And why would I want to make the effort to invest in myself in this way? Well, living from this perspective helps to guide you in developing tools and techniques that will help to increase your capacity and lessen any sense of overwhelm, meaning that you'll feel less stressed and exhausted. It also allows you to move from that sense of striving into greater ease and flow. It makes it easier for you to navigate your journey and to know what is right for you and what feels off. It helps you to take aligned action so that you can use your time and energy most effectively for you. It gives you a greater sense of direction and purpose. It allows you to connect more deeply with your unique inner wisdom and intuition. And it enables you to feel more comfortable and at home within your own skin and so supports your sense of balance your, and your well-being. So where do we start in giving ourselves permission to step more fully into our soul self? For me, it's about reconnecting with who we really are. So often we can lose sight of this beneath the conditioning and baggage of everyday life. But we can begin to reconnect by practicing radical self-care. So not being afraid or ashamed to give ourselves permission to put ourselves first, knowing that this is actually one of the most generous things we can do, not only for ourselves, but also for those around us. Also paying attention to our self-talk and gently, persistently, turning away from anything that our inner voice might say that leaves us feeling less or restricted in any way. And instead, giving our attention to the things that uplift us and help us to feel hopeful and expansive. We can also use journaling to explore our feelings and the needs behind them. And for me, I love spending time in nature and stillness and so beginning to tune in to inner wisdom and that soft, gentle voice of intuition. And it's also about listening to those nudges that we receive, the ones that resonate deeply and somehow just feel right and true for us and then practice acting on them. Because the more we can do this, the stronger and clearer those intuition and those nudges will become. And to help with this journey of growth and transformation, I've set up a new membership program called The Wild Ones. And this focuses on how we can reconnect with and step into our authentic and genuine self. It's a two tier membership and tier one offers a Facebook group where I share journal prompts to support you in developing greater self-awareness, understanding and clarity. Guided meditations for relaxation and visioning as you begin to step more fully into your soul self. And self-care musings to explore ways in which you can create the self-care practice that works for you as an individual. Tier two of the program, which I call the Wild Adventurers, includes the Facebook group and also adds the connection and support of a monthly Zoom mentoring call. And as a special offer for those of you who've signed up for this presentation, I'm offering a 10% discount on the first year of membership with the Wild Adventurers group. And I'm keeping this group small because I want to ensure that it provides a safe and welcoming space and also that it allows me to offer very personal support. So there are a maximum of five spaces available at this special discount. And if you've 
enjoyed what I've shared here and you'd like to know more about my work, then uh, you can find me on LinkedIn, Instagram and Facebook as Equenergy. And you can also see my uh, website and that's my email there if you'd like to make contact with me. So all that remains is for me to say thank you very much. And if you would be interested, I also have a freebie. It's uh, four steps to shifting yourself into a more uplifted energy and how to stay there. And it's called my wild way to start feeling better right now. Uh, you can download that at the address that's there on the screen. And you can also join me on my private Facebook group, which is Wild Wisdom Wellbeing. So thank you very much. And if you have any questions, just join us for the coming up Q&A session. <laughs>